parts of our lives begin. This flame was energy before I struck this match. Fire was her security and her revenge. She wanted to be dead. They hid their son in the attic of the house we lived in in Dublin. He's here, you know. I know who you are. You're gonna help me get John Fagans. Well, enough no. of the Fagans and the Killworths no, and their damn superstitions. Ow! Listen to me! Where are you taking her? I'm her son. She's Dr. Warren's patient now. She poses a threat to the safety of this institution, seeing as she's so obsessed with any form of fire. Charles Ormond was found this morning in the charred wreckage of his car at the family estate in Suffolk. No! No! no. Uh, Mr. Ormond's death was no accident. For all this jury knows that you and Miss Ormond have colluded with a terrorist officer from the Imperial German Army, feigning an illness as an alibi for Cadet Hess to have murdered Mr. Ormond. No! The jury should have no doubt how Mr. Ormond met his death, or by whose hand. Oh. I bribed for Carl's release and had him deported. I stole him from her. When she faded into her illness and left me out in the open, no, it's your mistake. I was the one who could never escape. To be conceived is to be made visible, struck like a match. The whites in the killers are dead. Oh my god. All of us exist long before the visible parts of our lives begin. <laughs>